Hello everyone, I am Sarah Javed. I am in grade 9 and I am 14 years old. And my topic is depression in children. Depression. What's depression? If you will quickly search upon the Google, the meaning of word depression, it will come up with a simple definition, which is correct indeed. Depression is a common and serious medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think and how you act. It's indeed correct, but there's a lot more than that. Depression in children is more common than it seems in the modern era. There are a lot of factors in the current society which affects the mental health of the children and teenagers. Depression is an obvious stage when you are emotionally down and physically trained without any sort of exercise. It causes you to feel irritable, hopeless and sad. It affects your sleeping cycle which results in eye bag under your eyes and makes you feel insecure. This isn't the only thing it does. This feeling of insecurity and emotional daring is called depression, which results in sleepless nights and of course a mental, a complete mental cutoff from the expecting society. It goes same with the children and teenagers these days. Anxiety, peer pressure, expectations from parents and a very highly competitive society and many more upsetting events that cause trauma. A lot of factors like this lead to depression in young ones. The pressure and stress of doing everything out of your limit and capacity leads to this emotional range. Anxiety and depression of course go hand in hand. That feeling of insecurity when you are feeling insecure, you are panicking and helplessness. This is anxiety. Anxiety is when you panic in everyday situations. Parental pressure. It's one of the most affecting factor that leads a child to depression. Underestimating the child, not appreciating even after the efforts being put and comparing a child with someone other. All these are not mere comments directed by the parents. Those comments leave a certain effect on child's mind, making him or her feel worthless in a sort of way. Peer pressure. It's also a very common factor where the child feels insecure and tries to do everything out of his capacity. And again, the stress and anxiety leads to being depressed. It feels more dreading when you realize the competition in this era. We all know the competitive society we live in. The society always asks for more from us children. And of course, it's never content with our achievements. This vicious cycle of competition and expectations also cause depression. This all leads to overthinking and emotional uptowns, which is, of course, depression, which sometimes and somehow leads to societal thoughts, behavior problems, changes in eating and sleeping patterns, feelings of sadness or hopelessness, a lack of interest in fun and fun activities, low energy levels or general tiredness, mood swings such as irritability. As extreme it seems, there are still ways to take the child out of the cycle before it's too late. Appreciating the child on simple things, comforting the child, motivating them, supporting them. It all forms a sense of worth in their minds. Counseling, yoga and medication should be taken in use. Listening to your favorite music, being yourself and not doing every and everything under the pressure. Not being pressurized, it all helps in fighting the depressed state. As we all know, children are like flowers. If you will give them the nourishment of your love and your care, it will of course give them growth. But if you will give them excess pressure of success or being succeed, they will lose their loss. Depression is just not a state of being blue for a few times. It's a state of your emotional drain when you are feeling blue for a lot of time. 
because when you are sad it makes your whole body feel great with this i conclude my speech thank you everyone